This video will continue dividing the polynomial by a monomial. We'll do this page three where we divide these polynomials by negative two a. So here's the examples, right? So we'll just do this page, these six examples. So we've got to divide by a negative two a, right? So let's take this polynomial. If I divide it by negative two a, I must divide this by negative two a and also two a, sorry, and also this by negative two a. We divide each um, term by 2a, negative 2a, right? So please write this down and see if you can get the answer. So it's negative 18a squared minus 8a and both terms divided by negative 2a, right? So let's look at the sign on the first term. We've got a negative over negative. What sign is that? Positive, right? We have 18 over 2. What's 18 over 2? Well, that's 9. And what's a squared over a? a squared over a is what? If you want, you can write a squared as a times a and then cross cancel. Two ain't a goes once, ain't a goes once. See? You're left with 1a on the top, so positive 9a. Now, can you simplify this fraction? It's negative 8a over negative 2a. Just think it out as negative over positive, or sorry, negative over negative and get the sign. What's negative over negative? The sign is negative over negative makes positive, right? What's 8 over 2? 8 over 2 is just 4, and the a's cross cancel, right? A and a goes once, a and a goes once. Okay, so we just have 4. Or you could have done this look, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 8 goes 4 times. On the top, you have 4 times 1, on the bottom, you have 1 times 1. So that's just 4 over 1, which is 4. Of course, you don't need the plus in front of that either. So the simplest way would be just 9a plus 4, right? So please write down this example 24, a to the power 4 minus 16a. Write it down and press pause and do that one yourself. You've got to divide it by negative 2a. 24, a to the 4 minus 16a. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So if I divide this by negative 2a, I must divide this term by negative 2a, and I also must divide this term by negative 2a, okay? This gives me, this is 20, positive over negative, what's the sign? Positive over negative makes negative, right? 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes, what's 2 into 4? 2 into 4 is 12, see? So that's the numbers taken care of. Now a to the 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 a's and there's 1 on the bottom so cross cancel that with that and I have 3 on the top. So I have 12 times 1 times 1, 2, 3 a's that's 12 a cubed and on the bottom I just have 1 so negative 12 a cubed. Now look at this fraction it's a negative over negative what should the sign be? Negative over negative the sign should be positive, right? Now 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 16 goes 8 times. What can you do with the a's? a into a goes once, a into a goes once. So we have positive 8 times 1 over 1 times 1, that's an 8 over 1 times 1 is 1, which just makes 8. So we have negative 12 a cubed plus 8. Okay. Let's do these examples now. Write this one down. Negative 7a to the power of 5 minus 2a squared plus ab. So we'll just do this example first then this one. Okay. So write it down. Negative 5a to the power of 5 minus 2a squared plus ab. You've got to divide that polynomial by negative 2a which means we need to divide each individual term by negative 2a. Okay. Divide each individual term by negative 2a. Right. So let's look at the first fraction. It's a negative over negative. What should the sign be? The sign should be positive, right? Uh, 7 and 2 can't cross cancel, but we can cross cancel some a's. What's a to the power of 5 divided by a? 
If you can't think of it, just write out five A's, one, two, three, four, five, and cross cancel one of them with the bottom. Now how many are left on the top? So there's four A's left on the top times each other, right? So that's positive, seven A to the power of four, and on the bottom we have two. Two times one is two. The sign is positive, it's negative over negative, right? Now can you do this one? Negative 2a squared over negative 2a. Do that part. Okay, did you try it? What should the sign be? It's negative over negative, so the sign is positive, right? 2 into 2 goes once, here and here. We've got a squared, so write it a, a times a if you want to, and then cross cancel here, an a here, and an a here. So we have one a on the top, okay? and then one on the bottom. So it's a over one, which is just a. You can write a over one if you want, but that's just a. Now we have plus positive over negative. So what should this one work out to be? A positive over negative makes what sign? What should the sign be? The sign should be positive over negative makes negative, right? Can anything cross cancel? The A's can cross cancel, right? A into A goes once, A into A goes once. Can anything else cross cancel? Okay, nothing else can cross cancel. We have B on the top, we have 2 on the bottom. So it's a negative B over 2. Now I'm going to rewrite this answer with fractions uh, just, so, j just so we get the practice of writing it two different ways. So this can also be written as instead of 7 a to the 4 over 2 it can also be written as 7 over 2 a to the power of 4 Okay, then plus a then minus and this is b over 2 or 1 b over 2 right? and so this is actually 1 over 2 1 half so minus 1 half times b Okay, so that would be the simplest way you can also leave it as b over 2 but I mean it, I'd like you to write it both ways just so that you get the practice of it so press pause, write down this example and do it. It's negative a cubed plus 4a squared minus ab squared. Negative a cubed plus 4a squared minus ab squared and you've got to divide it by negative 2a, right? So divide this term by negative 2a, divide this term by negative 2a, divide this term by negative 2a. So divide each term by negative 2a, write it out and see if you can get the answer. Okay, please press pause and try it if you haven't done so yet. Please press pause and do this one all by yourself. Okay, I hope, hope you tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So in the first fraction, we have a negative over a negative. So what's the sign going to be? Sign's going to be positive, right? And it's, an, what can you cross cancel? Well, we've got a 2 on the bottom. Uh, we've got an a cubed on the top and an a down here and what's a cubed over a well you can if you want you can write a cubed as a a a like that and cross cancel one of those a's with the one on the bottom so now we have two a's on the top so that's a squared on the top right and on the bottom we have two times one two so the sign is positive that's a squared over 2, right? Then with the next fraction, it's a positive over negative. So what's the sign going to be? Sign's going to be negative, right? And we have 4 over 2, so we can cross cancel with 4 and 2, right? 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice. Okay? And we have a squared over a. Write the a squared as a times a if you want. And now we can cross cancel. A and A goes once here and here. So we have 2 times A on the top. 2A. On the bottom we have 1 times 1, which is just 1, right? Um, and with this fraction, it's a negative over negative. What's negative over negative? Negative over negative is positive. Does anything cross cancel? Well, the A's cross cancel, right? 
So we have b squared over 2. It's the, the sign is positive because it's negative over negative, and that's b squared over 2. And just for fun, we'll rewrite this uh, in a simpler form, and we'll, we'll write, write it with fractions. So we know that a squared is the same thing as 1a squared. So we have 1a squared over 2, which is the same thing as 1 half a squared. Then minus 2a over 1, that's like minus 2a. Then plus b squared over 2, the same thing as plus 1b squared over 2. And that's the same thing as a half b squared, right? So it's a half a squared minus 2a plus a half b squared, right? Let's do these examples. Please write this one down. 8ab cubed minus 14ab to the power of 4 minus 5b squared. So please write that one down, we'll do it. We'll do uh, this example next. And so write this down and we've got to divide by negative 2a. So we've got to take this polynomial and divide each term by negative 2a. Divide this one by negative 2a, divide this one by negative 2a, divide this one by negative 2a. So please write this down and press pause and try it yourself. Okay, so I hope you press pause and try it. I'll go over it now, and if you made a mistake, that's good because you might learn, and that's the way to progress. You gotta learn, you gotta make mistakes, you gotta learn. So, um, we're dividing by negative 2a. Look at the first fraction. What's the sign gonna be? It's a positive over negative, so the sign is negative, right? Does anything cross cancel? Well, a into a goes once, a into a goes once. 2 to 2 goes once, 2 into 8, 4 times, right? So we have 4 times 1 times b cubed over 1, that's just uh, 4b cubed. I'm going to uh, write it down here, it should be a negative of course, right? It's a negative 4b cubed, sorry, my mistake, one second, here we go. Okay, the next fraction, so negative 4b cubed, the next fraction is a negative over negative. What's the sign? What sign should it be? So let's deal with the sign first. Negative over negative is positive. Can we cross cancel? Yep, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 14, 7 times. A into A goes once, A into A goes once. So we have 7 times b to the power of 4 all over 1, which is just 7 b to the power of 4, right? How about this one? What's the sign on the next fraction? It's negative over negative, so the sign is plus. And can we cross cancel anything? Nope. So it's just plus 5b cubed over 2a, right? And that's actually as simple as we can write that. I mean, it could be 5 over 2b uh, cubed over a, right? which is exactly the same thing as, you know, 5b cubed over 2a. So this is done, and that's as simple as we can uh, write the answer, okay? So please uh, write down this example and do it yourself. Divide this polynomial by negative 2a. So it's negative 10a squared b plus 6ab cubed, that's a 6, minus 3b, okay? Please write that polynomial down and divide it by negative 2a press pause and do it yourself. So you've got to divide each individual term by negative 2a. Now I hope you've pressed pause and tried it yourself. I'm going to do it now. So on the first term we have a negative over negative which makes positive. And we can cross cancel. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 10 goes 5 times. a squared can be written a a. Oops. And we can cross cancel one of those with this a here. And we have a b on the top. So we have 5 times 1 times a times b. So 5ab. And on the bottom we just have 1. So 5ab over 1 if you like. Or 5ab. Onto this one. What's the sign? It's positive over negative. What's the sign on this fraction? That's got to be a negative, right? and we can cross cancel. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 6 goes 3 times. Anything else? A into A goes once, A into A goes once. So 3b cubed over 1, 3b cubed. 
and then negative over negative. What does this make? Negative over negative? Positive. 3b over 2a. Does anything cross cancel? So nothing cross cancel, so you just leave that as 3b over 2a. And uh, we don't need the positive in front of this, but it, it doesn't make any difference, and that would be your final answer, right?